<laughs> I could call you the first thing I ever said to you. You should get a better bra because yeah. you're bouncing. God everywhere. dang it. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I got new bras. <laughs> I, I don't wear my elastic ones anymore. I have wire bras yeah. now. I was like, Taylor, your breasts are too big for that. <laughs> you didn't even know my name. You just said that. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're, Amber was like, this is my friend. And I was like, your boobs are bouncing everywhere. <laughs>
I don't mean to, it's just that I get so caught up and so excited about like the littlest stupid details. I'm like, it's your passion. I'm like, get excited. Do it. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> the story of my life got the pregnant. No, DJ Callie's speech is not in my life. <laughs> we the story of my life is still everything happens so much. No, I just recently watched a full speech of that because I was wondering why it became a meme. Because it ran me a speech, he just said, put the hinges on the fuckboy's hand. Put the hinge. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> this took, this went zero to a hundred real quick. <laughs> it's John Cena! <laughs> DJ Callus is amazing, and I love the fact that he actually knows that he's a meme. That's what I love about it. He's great. He loves it. Ever since yeah. to shout out to all the pairs, he just loves being a meme now. <laughs> <laughs> Memes are fun though. Memes are the best thing ever. I'm gonna start a puppeteer meme now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Get out of here! No! No! <laughs> Beautiful. Just have, just have puppets here saying like you smart, you loyal. I like that. <laughs> win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> stay focused, stay on winning. Lion. They're like, buy your mama a house. Buy your whole family house. <laughs> now is this the part where you do push-ups? Another one. <laughs> Another just one. Like, just like a picture of Puppeteer's face, doesn't remember his girlfriend, bangs her in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a kiss. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Another <laughs> one. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, oh, that was beautiful. So talking about in the cosplay area, uh, the the new store, well, not really new, but the new store of Joanna is about to become a uh, fully cosplay store all around really? the world. Yep, they're going to officially be just cosplay. Wow. Cool. Mm -hmm. We have one of those in our mall. Yeah, we have three of them near us. That's Dude. incredible. And it's going to, in four to five months, it's going to be strictly cosplay. I'm still gonna buy all my fabric from there for like me. I'm them, really so. jealous. <laughs> they're gonna they're coming roll the worldwide. It's a worldwide store soon. They're in that four to five months. Because oh. everybody requested it to have a cosplay store and join us like we'll do it! <laughs> Pick us! Right sure. here. Just do it! Pick us! <laughs> <laughs> just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just going to think, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine them like standing there with like their hands on their hips like we are your saviors <laughs> in the cosplay room you couldn't find that color we have it now <laughs> it's here if, even if we still don't have it we'll order it for you and send it to your house with like our every, prices every cosplayer is gonna swarm around that place like it's fucking black friday like let us the fuck in we like, need that fabric. Every day is going to be a sale with them. <laughs> we need the fabric. <laughs> it's our fabric. Come at us. <laughs> Another yeah. thing I found really interesting that was hilarious, that those vape pins, the e cigs or whatever oh, yeah. you guys want to call it, they're called Malfadoras now. Ew. <laughs> what? Malfadoras. Oh, All right. I, I don't know why. It was on the news and then I didn't believe them and now I work at Walmart as a cashier and we sell them and it says Malfador is on the boxes now. <laughs> it was just like oh my god. The nice guy spreading. Oh gosh, nice guy's finish last. This, this is not what I asked for. <laughs> None of us asked for this. <laughs> Fedoras are multiplying in ways that we didn't think would multiply. I had one of those wannabe fedora hats before the nice guy, like, revolution happened. I gave it to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so your mom is now actually a nice guy. Yeah. Well, wow. I, I spent time on it. I, like, bejeweled it and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit more acceptable. <laughs> it's acceptable. <laughs> she just do it. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. I don't have a neck beard. I can wear this hat if I want to. <laughs> Man buns. 
Wait, did y'all opinion on the man buns? I love man I love buns. I like it if it looks good on the guy. <laughs> I feel like, in my opinion. That's a lot of man buns that don't look really great. <laughs> I feel like you need a beard to even have a man bun, in my opinion. Ew, beards are gross. <laughs> I like beards. Beards are beards, nice. Beards are nice if they can actually take care of it. Yeah. Because there's a lot of guys who just goes like, I'm just gonna let a girl not groom it. It looks like shit. Like, screw you guys. I do what I want. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to find another news story that I found. That was really interesting. And I lost it in my phone and messitude. Oh no. Oh, that, that was just funny. There's a video out where... Uh, a guy and his friends that all dressed up like Mario characters and they took shopping carts and they started riding them throughout the mall. <laughs> like they colored the shopping carts with uh I don't know with how they colored it and stuff. That and they just start paint. paint and I think they had construction paper too. And wow. they, they just rode it all through the mall. <laughs> they That's great. Cops didn't know what to do. They just stared at it. It was like, We don't know how to rest this. This is not disturbing anyway. Everyone's entertained by it. <laughs> How acceptable is that kind of thing in the U in the states? Um, well, so long as you're not breaking anything or indecent or hurting anybody, you're pretty much good. <laughs> okay. I didn't. I just recently learned if you pee out in like in public in a forest and something, you be charged as sex offender and you be on the sex offenders list now. Yeah. Wow. I, I never knew that. You didn't? Wow. No, I went lumberjack style so many times when I went camping in the forest. <laughs> People will actually much. do that. It's really, really gross. I ugh. I'm it's like, not that nice. <laughs> Like when you're like if I'm going camping, there's like no outhouse or anything. Yeah, it's like of a, course, that's acceptable. That's the only time I'll say I'll do it, and I always bring toilet paper. <laughs> but, but like, like if you, you like gotta cross, bring a shovel too. Oh yeah, yeah. If you like cross the street and there's like a guy peeing against the wall, you're like, oh god. Oh. Yeah, no. Put that back in your pants. <laughs> Put it away. Put, back, put that thing back Water in the game. Water Since so this is a dang memes podcast. Yeah, I am bringing all of the good memes. I should rename the top podcast. Hey guys, welcome to the dank meme podcast. <laughs> when you oh, get yeah. your Illuminati confirmed 420 <laughs> footage MLG up in dunk. here. <laughs> 360 no scope. Mom, get the camera. I need a 360 no scope. The mom's like, what is that? Doesn't matter, just get the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gee, mom, I can't believe you just continued my WoW account. Yeah. Mom, where's my Mountain Dew? I, like I said, when I'm a parent, I'm going to punish my kids by turning off the Wi-Fi, and I'm going to change the Wi-Fi password when I return it on, and then they can't oh get God. back on. I'll I'm be that parent. You. I will be Girl. that parent. <laughs> And, or or I make them do the most worst thing all. I tell them to go outside. What out electronics? Oh, Jesus Christ, that's the most evil thing I've ever heard. Today, today we learned that none of us want to be Taylor's children. You are all my children. <laughs> no, please. Mommy. Mommy, no. I need the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Remember when you guys used to make fun of me in school? Because I couldn't go anywhere alone. I was too anxious. So you guys were like, oh, I gotta take the dog for a walk. That's true. <laughs> oh, no. It's true. I could not leave you alone. <laughs> I got sick whenever I was alone. I was too nervous. Aww. I feel so bad, but it's true. <laughs> I just got mad and just looked at you and went, woof. <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting for you like one day just to scratch the door and then be like, oh, I gotta take Orion out. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they gotta go potty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, high school was so weird. <laughs> it is. It got really bad, according to a couple yeah. of our teachers. Like, apparently the stage crew now is smoking weed and drinking alcohol backstage during I blame that one kid Paris. Oh, he doesn't even do it anymore. 
I blame him regardless. <laughs> he's like, I'm not. He's not even part of Plazy Boy, but I blame him. <laughs> I blame him because stage crew, started, stage crew started going to shit the minute that Gilbert was like, "Oh no, this person who we don't know and who hasn't proved themselves to us is suddenly in charge." Truth. I was like, "No, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know you. You have not earned the right." Truth. <laughs> <laughs> I might need it. to cut that part out or just bleep you say in the name. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, May. All right. <laughs> That's why I didn't even say high school or anything, but, but you just Oh, I got so mad at him when he was talking disrespectful to all of you guys. And I just, I was like, well, I'm going to go do my thing because you're not in charge of me. I'm props. And he went and told our teacher who came to me like, what's the deal? I'm like, the deal is that he was being an asshole to people. <laughs> I don't know. I just dodged them. I found my really, really old diary when I was in elementary school. Oh, and I just found all those weird stories that I did when I was in elementary school and that my parents didn't know about. So I'm going to start a series on the channel where it's like stories I never told my parents. Oh gosh, that can actually get pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. It really is. I can tell one of the stories right now if you guys want to hear that. But this... Oh yeah, go for it. Okay, so I was in the second grade, right? And I, most of my friends was all guy friends, and they all like love playing. Well, they never play true for dare. They just play strictly dare. <laughs> and I always wanted to play, but they never play with me because they said, "Oh, it's only a boy. Only a boy can ask boys to do things. If you had a girl, you, the girl can ask you to do things." So it was near, it was our bathroom break and blah blah blah. So I went to the bathroom and this, there was this one stall. It was broken. Like the door was gone. <laughs> And one of the, the girls that I dared someone to go in there and pee. And I was like, it's my chance to be like one of the boys and go do a dare. <laughs> and I just sat on the toilet and I peed while everyone was walking past the stall. <laughs> they could just see me right there. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Can we talk about what a stupid public school that is to not have a door on a bathroom stall. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? And I just saw it's like, oh my gosh, she's doing it. It's like, yeah, I'm doing it because I wanted the boys. I yelled out. <laughs> and then later on, I don't know which girl, one of the girls told her, my teacher, I did it. And the person who dared me got in trouble and not me. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I felt so bad, but she didn't hold a grudge on me. Oh, for a while. Well, you weren't the one who told the teacher, so I don't see. Yeah, why she didn't. Get, she didn't get mad at me. She got mad at the person that told it, but we're still good friends. I don't talk to her now, but we was good friends up in high school. You gotta love that. Yeah, she was a good person. She's doing great in life. I'm glad she's doing great in life. Shout out to that person. I can't say. <laughs> we'll call them Jessica. You're a good job, Jessica. Why Jessica? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. I have no idea. So, did you guys got any plans for the cosplay this year? Oh, um, what cosplay am I not doing? <laughs> 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 Too many plans, dude. Um, uh, I don't know which one I'm actually planning on doing, but I think... The few ones I'm gonna try to do for the summer is a few Steven Universe ones, oh but goodness. I'm not certain which ones yet. I haven't decided. Uh, but other than that, I tend to be the person that like spontaneously thinks like, "Oh yeah, no problem. I can do this cosplay within a week. No, no issue there. No problem. I can do that." So that's kind of where I'm at right now because I have a con coming up uh, next weekend, and I have two cosplays that I haven't finished. Oh my god. Oh god. Shame on me. <laughs> Bless you, you poor little thing. <laughs> I brought this upon myself. <laughs> Other than that, I actually don't know. I, I tend to reuse a lot of cosplays, so I'm gonna see if I can actually reuse my Skeletor cosplay sometime this year. Which would be pretty neat. I don't think I'm really planning any cosplays in the near future. I mean, eventually I'd like to cosplay Levi from Attack on Titan, but that's like a good distance in the future. Mm. 
I guess technically I could dress up as my own creepypasta because the clothes that inspired her are in my closet. <laughs> um, you should do that. You should really do that, though. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, my hair's too short for this, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I told Mickey like, she should cosplay as your creepypasta. <laughs> I still need to write the script thing for that. Yep, me and her are ready whenever. Just messages us. Well, Mickey... Iffy. <laughs> iffy at the moment now. <laughs> Mickey is iffy. She's iffy at the moment now. <laughs> Cause she's kind of like sick and all that jazz. But yeah. after that, we should be pretty a-okay. I can just like straighten her hair. <laughs> I got a mini straightener. I like yes. it. It's so tiny. Yas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yas. That was our main word when I was working on a haunted house. Which is <laughs> yas. <laughs> I want to work a haunt one day. That sounds like so much fun. Hey, you can volunteer at my haunt. Hey. Sh- shout out to 7th Street Haunt. Come check it out. Hey. Oh, this derby. This derby, Oaks, they we're open. We're raising money for a charity. Aw, that's cool. Yeah. It's going to be super scary. It's not going to be like, oh, no, murdering horses. No, it's not going to be like Derby Fiend. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I want to see people dressed up as a zombie horse. <laughs> Nay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of derb is it? Like uh, horse racing. Oh, okay. Because mm. I've only gone to one derb in my entire life, and that's when I went over to Seattle, like uh, Washington State, this summer. And it was the first time I watched a combine derby. Oh. It was the most American thing <laughs> I have ever experienced in my entire life. America. I was, I was like at the point of being scared but amused at the same time. <laughs> God, if you want to be scared but amused, you should really come to the derby here because it's just an arena full of people drunk off their asses with really <laughs> weird hats. And we're just fancy no, ass. Fuck. That sounds like a party to me. They've got spending really weird all hats. this money that they don't have on a horse <laughs> race that lasts for eight seconds. <laughs> yeah. Mm, amazing. Yeah. And, yeah, and like they're all they're dressed all fancy, and a whole bunch of celebrities show up, and they all take limos to go see fucking horses run around a circle in eight seconds. <laughs> I'm like, wow, so short. I and, never... then, and then like they're like the whole like month leading up to it. There's like bed races and fireworks and hot air balloon races, parades. Like why? Just horses running in a circle. You can go see that any day that the derby, like, the place is open. Yeah, that's true, because, like, my friend works there, and he says, I see horse races every day here, and no one shows up, really. Oh, my God. I just don't understand our state. Yeah, I don't understand any states, to be honest. (laughs) (laughs) We're just America. (laughs) What is America? We try to be different. I think America's a wonderful place. It's very interesting. <laughs> we try to be number one in sports, and the only sport we're number one at is American football. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're so bad, we had to make our own sport to win at. Yeah, yeah exactly. And Aww. have a Super Bowl, which is today. Really? Yeah, our Super Bowl's today. Oh. <laughs> Show all the Doritos commercials. All the Doritos. Got to stuff your face and become huge. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so good, though. I know, I love Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> I've had Doritos in forever, to be honest. I have oh these... my god, Taylor, I'm coming to your work and I'm buying Doritos and I'm going to open the bag and just put it on your just, head. Just stand just, there oh and my... just like eat it. Just stand like... I'll be like... <laughs> look at her. Like, hey, do that so I can, my, short ca- my shift can be short. <laughs> <laughs> Customers <laughs> attacking me, putting Doritos in my mouth. Oh no, I gotta go home now. <laughs> I was like... You know this guy? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> on the ground getting Dorito stuff in my front <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy, like, the super spicy ones. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no. Like, eating, like, crying at the same time because it's so spicy? <laughs> that would be wonderful. <laughs> Get a thing of Tabasco and just, like, here's your drink, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like no one would be surprised. Like, oh, it's Walmart shrugs and walk away. <laughs> put on that weird Walmart website. <laughs> oh yeah, 
is that it probably end up being a meme and be like at the bottom. Try, this is how I'll try to handle my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all the memes. All the memes. All the memes. All the good ones. All the good memes. All the awesome memes. Uh. I started liking this Let's Play, guys. They call it Eleven Drunk Guys. And yes. It, their stuff is amazing. Oh my gosh. I love so much. Like, at the point, you can, like, barely hear what they're screaming about. It's just screaming. That's the, my favorite parts. <laughs> I do, like, I like part two of Five Nights at Freddy's 2, their let's play of it. I like how they're just, like, Alex is like, I quit! I'm not doing this! And then this one guy in the back of me is like, Alex is very sensitive. We need to care about his feelings and just, like, get all girly. Like, and it's like, yas, girl, yas. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, I speak with them. Or when they say, eat, rock, play, smoke weed every day. I was like, <laughs> I was so weed every day. And then they started beatboxing. I was like, they can beatbox while they're drunk. That's beautiful. Aren't they like debating legalizing weed here? <laughs> yeah. I still think. I think only, isn't it like only four states has. has you're allowed to have weed now. I have no idea. All I know is Bernie Sanders for president. <laughs> That's why everyone, like, I really don't understand the whole presidency race this year at all. I try looking at people's standpoints. It's just not go clicking through my head at the moment. Uh, I feel like a summary of the race is Donald Trump racist, Hillary Clinton liar, who the fuck is everyone else? <laughs> <laughs> like, Bernie, Bernie, egg. Bernie came out of nowhere, to be honest. All I remember was Donald Trump and Hillary, and then Bernie's here. It's like, oh, I'm paying, you pay too much for college? Oh, I can fix that. He's like, fix it, Felix. <laughs> yes. I actually love Bernie Sanders. I've been following him for a while, and I'm registering to vote for him. And the best thing is, even if he doesn't win like the Democrat race of it, he's allowed to switch parties and go to the Independent Party and run for president again as the Independent Party. Um... So is Donald Trump. Ew. Anything but Donald Trump. Right. I can already say that. I just, and I'm, I'm not even American. <laughs> like, that's pretty bad. Trump, I felt like it was just the biggest joke ever. I'm like, because I was like, when he said he's running for president, I was like, if he's running for president, I bet Kanye's running for president too. And then Kanye said, I'll be running for president year 2020. I'm like, I'm done with life now. Did you hear about this guy <laughs> that wrote an erotic fan fiction of Donald Trump? And oh, it got what? like super famous. It was amazing. Holy shit. Okay, so this guy, I he was a comedian. I don't exactly remember his name right off the top of my head. But he got drunk one night and decided to go on Twitter and ask his followers to if he should write a Donald Trump fan fiction or not. Like a like a fifty shades of gray version of Donald yeah. Trump. And that Fucking like follow up of tweets was the most amazing thing I had ever seen. It's on Amazon, by the way. Apparently, you can buy it. It's called Donald Trump, the Millionaire and the Bellboy. <laughs> and it's just about like this really like strangely written smut about Donald Trump getting down with this hotel bellboy. And it's ah. <laughs> Like, you want to laugh, but when you read, like, out the quotes of the book, you just start cringing because it's so dis disgustingly written. Because, like, they describe, like, Donald Trump's hair, like, it's so greasy and yellow. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Help. Do you have a bit in my mouth? Oh. No, just, that was beautiful. I recommend you guys to check it out because it was, it was worth a few laughs. <laughs> If I, I want to hear shit talked about Donald Trump, I'll listen to Stephen Colbert. Huh? <laughs> I also something else I was interesting, like how there's a new movie coming out. It's got Fifty Shades of Black. Oh, it's a black comedy making fun of Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh god! And no. I saw trailers of it, and it was hilarious. Like all those dramatic moments, like. That have you you guys seen the trailer for the original Fifty Shades of Grey? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you know that whole elevator scene where they were just saying each other's names? Yeah. In the black version, she tries to say his name, then she just gets squished by the elevator. She just gets stuck there for a second. <gasps> oh no. She's like, I drive me from make the minute workout. How does white people do this? She said, I'm like, 
<laughs> She's like, Twilight made it look easy. I feel like that's gonna be like the new Hollywood trend, like Twilight sucks, Fifty Shades of Black. <laughs> make fun of all these popular movies. It's like, how else you gotta make the money in Hollywood? YouTube know, is right? taking over everything. Yeah, that's true. Ugh. Missing cat found twice his original size after living in a pet food factory for 14 months. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> cat got fat. <laughs> that cat got. It was like a it was a huge change out of this cat because it's super skinny like to the bone and now it looks like Garfield. I love Garfield though. I do too. Lasagna Aww. for him for all all the lasagna. Good. Good. I love you lasagna. Cat. Lasagna is like a really good food, and I just want to eat it all. Just put it all in my face. Yeah, like at Walmart, <laughs> how you handle your life fault before you eat lasagna. Uh, uh, just eat your emotions. Same. Just eat them all. Story of my life. Hashtag One <laughs> Direction. <laughs> uh, hashtag Summer. Hashtag One Direction. Hashtag Oh my God, my boobs are so big. Hat. Hashtag no filter. Hashtag no makeup. Hashtag bless. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag, hashtag I fucked my cousin. Oh, <laughs> hashtag it's a Kentucky thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Billy. Oh my god! I uh, Twitter upgraded the character uh, characters so you can write down ten thousand characters on Twitter now. Wow! Oh my god, people are gonna use this to their. No one's oh, gonna yeah. want to read that. <laughs> I'm like, I can just go on Facebook. <laughs> I'm like, I can just yeah, go exactly. right. Oh my gosh, you know how many hashtags I can do with all that? <laughs> all the hashtags. I'm mean, even gonna do hashtag hashtag. It's not even, it's gonna be the word hashtag. <laughs> hashtag hashtag. <laughs> hashtag, it's gonna be that actual hashtag symbol, and I'm gonna write through a hashtag, and then I have the symbol again. Hashtag hashtag hashtag. This is not going good places. <laughs> it's going amazing places. <laughs> and then hashtag yes. <laughs> All right, yes. the other, the other point we wanted to touch on was art. Yeah, How, how's y'all art life going? <laughs> it was like it's the best question I have right at the moment. <laughs> Corn, you, you should you should tell about your Game of Thrones painting thingy that you're doing. Oh yeah, I saw that on your demon um, art that I'm stalking. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, which is kind of funny because uh, when I got back to school after deciding what I was supposed to do for my art project, uh, it got declined and I have to start over. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of just like they had like this argument that if I was gonna make a paraphrase picture I couldn't use an existing thing because then I would make a paraphrase of that as well and it doesn't really count as far like as the terms go for the school project so I was I had to start over my entire idea I took like a week to do nothing just because I had to think about it um, so at this point uh, do, do you guys do you guys know what a paraphrase is I think you told me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, but I can just like recap if uh, no one like knows. Um, paraphrase is a term where you take an existing picture of someone else's art, preferably something known, and you turn it into something else, either by shape or idea. So you can take like if you were to take like Mona Lisa for example it's the most paraphrased picture in the entire like world like you know people who take Mona Lisa and they put like an iPod in her ear so they like draw a mustache on her face that's a paraphrase oh, okay yeah um, but <laughs> as far as our school project goes we're not allowed to choose uh, pictures that are that well known, like that has that has been paraphrased for so many times, and we're not supposed to do like a shape paraphrase, which we did in first grade. We're supposed to do an ID paraphrase, which is we take the meaning of the picture and we turn it into something else. That yeah, that's basically it. 
Uh, sorry if I'm gonna just ramble on because you know when I get started talking about art, I never stop. So have just... fun. <laughs> we, have, we have 30 to 40 minutes left in this podcast. So have fun. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. No. Um, so I'm using one of Nicolas Cousin's old artwork from LC. I think it was 16. 1656, uh, he did a piece called Death of Sapphira, which is about a woman that's, um, she, she's a part of the church and she cheats on the church because she wants more money that she was promised to give to them. So God condemns her and con- like, they're like, you have to die. So God just like kills her in front of everyone. It's a pretty bizarre picture and it's like pretty well known at least like when it comes to other like renaissance artists. So what I did, what I'm working on right now is that I took this Death of Sapphira picture and I turned it into a bowling scene because it, it resembles what you could call like you see the poor people that lie to the apostles and the apostles are like very rising up in the picture and then like pointing at Sapphira. It, it's hard to describe because there's so many things going on in that picture. But that's what I'm working on and what I essentially did is that I took my bullies that I had in middle school and drew them into the picture whereas they're pointing at me and I'm Sapphira and I'm the different versions of protecting myself. It sounds really dumb and really pretentious. <laughs> it sounds but, amazing. I like it. <laughs> it's pretty it's, dope. It's been a very complicated process so far. And I got two weeks left of the project, which, which makes me very nervous. But that's what I've been working on for the moment. I have more, but I'm going to let Orion come in a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm turning people into magical girls. <laughs> <laughs> Started. Oh my god, I don't remember. How did it no, start again? I do. <laughs> glitter Force. Oh my god, yes, Glitter Force. Glitter Force. <laughs> um, I was I was um, watching Netflix with my mom in the living room, and I decided that I was kind of depressed, so I was gonna watch um, a stupid show. So I decided to watch Glitter Force. And then a couple days later, I was talking to Corn on Skype. I was like, oh, yeah, I was watching this thing called Glitter Force. And she was just like, I have seen that. (laughs) (laughs) And where I freaked out, more or less. I was like, it's so stupid. I can't believe they did this. (laughs) And that's how everybody is becoming magical girls. And it's beautiful. I still need to draw Mr. Creepypasta as a magical girl. (laughs) I'm just gonna start singing. The stars in the hazy heavens tremble above you. As he whispered, I swear I'm not a rapist. (laughs) Are you sure? Take me, baby, or leave me. Oh man. Oh, guys, good times. Good times for musicals. <laughs> Great times. Great times. Speaking indeed. of musicals, I have, I'm i almost finished building a theater. Hey. Yeah, we like, it was, we, I took, I was taking a stagecraft class in college. And when, I didn't expect that when we walk into our classroom, it's completely empty. There's no light system, there's no sound or anything. It's, it's an empty building. And he said, we're building a theater. I'm like, what? Well, that's one way to learn to do it. So we just got done putting up the light system, which I climbed the ladder for the first time. Hey, and for we the put first up- time in forever. And the first time in for no. <laughs> Don't get me into that. I love that song. <laughs> I love first time forever. I listen to that song over and over. But yeah, and then we're about to put the seats in. We're about to build the stage actually, like the actual actual stage with the curtains and everything. That's Great. some really intense work. It really is. We've been we did it in a short amount of time because we just got this class like last month. Dang. And we're like really fast building and we only end the class for one hour. <laughs> oh, this is so, crazy. So technically uh, we work on it two hours a week. 
I don't think I could do that because the last time I was in stage crew, I wasn't allowed to use any power tools because I wasn't covered on the insurance. Because <laughs> I'm half blind. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> They're like, I'm sorry, but we can't allow you to use power tools. Use all the power tools. <laughs> You're allowed to paint and sit on the things that we use power tools on. I'm stalking both of your guys' demon arts at the moment to find more stuff to talk about. Oh gosh. <laughs> Look at all the things. We could talk about my baby yeah. and how he's going to cause a shitstorm. True. Let's do it. Let's do it. You have the floor. Uh, his name is Noah, and he is a rapist slash pedophile slash necrophiliac slash kidnapper slash murderer. Dun dun dun! <laughs> <laughs> and Please um, get away from my boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming for the dead booty. Oh, oh. <laughs> best ship. I should know it with like everyone because he just he would he would fuck anyone. He's, he's um air, uh, a romantic pansexual <laughs> who has issues. <laughs> um, but basically, his little story is that. Um, he grew up with his family and had some recurring nightmares about the flood from Noah's Ark and they turned into night terrors and in college one night he had a night terror that God made him go drown his parents in the bathtub and he ran away from college because he thought it was like real and accidentally became all of those things when he found a homeless boy and moved him into the abandoned warehouse that he bought. Wow, that's intense, man. I don't know yeah. why, but the word abandoned yeah. sounds funny to me. I don't know why. I think I blame Phoenix and Fur for the word abandoned being hilarious. <laughs> because they'd be like, I was like, this is the abandoned, abandoned park. And I was like, is it abandoned? They're like, yeah, this is the abandoned, abandoned park. I'm like, that <laughs> word is funny now. <laughs> that's terrible. That's funny. But I, I love him. He's kind of messed up because once he um, kills the homeless boy, because um, he like started calling him brother, and the homeless boy was like, I'm, "I'm not comfortable with this." He got really mad and killed him, and kept his body and talked to it until it decomposed too much. Then he stripped his flesh from his bones and kept his bones in a closet. We skeleton in the closet, huh? Yes, Did there it? is. <laughs> And then, when, and then when you said brother, I just thought I was like hitting her chest and like, brother, <laughs> what's up brother? It's just it's like all ghetto and everything. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> he like sits down every day in front of, he painted the door to the closet red. And he sits down and prays in front of it every day. I thought he, you... made his, he made his warehouse into a maze to keep his victims in. I'm just like, what is wrong with you? I thought you said you, he painted a wall. Look no, like a painted, door. He painted <laughs> he's, the door. I think he's like, he painted the, oh, the wall a door. It's like, people try to open it. I don't know. My mind is with someone. <laughs> That's like some kind of mind fuck. That's like, like, I'm trying to open I can't. Where's the knob at? It's painted on it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my worst nightmare because I don't have depth perception. Just touch the door. Wait a minute. There's no knob here, but this, they painted one on. <laughs> <laughs> no, put, put some styrofoam, color the styrofoam glued on the wall. <laughs> Guys, about a door. Nope, this is styrofoam. Yeah. <laughs> He's my fucked up baby. What do you guys want to talk about? As I see here, the puppet tier. <laughs> uh huh. Have fun. Talk. Discuss. What? what? What about him? <laughs> I don't know. I can't answer. I don't know. <laughs> the booty. The booty. I, I like the character. I'm just staring at all the artwork right now because I'm in love now. <laughs> um, I, I, Puppeteer started out for me like more or less like a one time coping thing for me. Uh, when like I had a summer, I had just like graduated from high school and I, I just had like a really bad time. So I started writing a lot uh, and Puppeteer was one of the few things like I, I think I wrote that passed over like two weeks or something. And by then I was pretty new in the fandom, so I didn't really know what I was doing. Like, oh, let's just write something. It'll, it'll be good. No worry about it. It'll be good. 
Uh, so I had like a few of my friends uh, helping me out with it. For instance, I had Kiki helping me out, and uh, my hat is blue. Uh, blue does a lot of uh, other creepy pasta art, and they help me out a lot. Um, and somehow I, I don't understand how, but he just kind of escalated. So. I, as it is right now, I don't really have any control of where that character is going. He just like kind of becomes something that a lot of people have per participated in. Uh, and I actually, I, I like to let just stay that way. Unless like it comes to like pairings and like other more like smutty things, I just tend to avoid that most part. I've seen the ship that's coming up. It's like this OC named Red, and they're shipping them with Zero. And I don't like, I don't really like either of those characters, but I appreciate the ship because Red times Zero means possibly less Zero times Puppeteer. <laughs> yes, thank God. I, like, bring me more, like, non Zero X Puppeteer. I have no idea where that even came from. Me either. I just, I just know I don't like it. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. Like, when I saw it, yeah, cool, that's that's neat, I suppose, but like, then it like, kind of escalated, and people started, like, fighting for real. People were making a, such a big deal out of it. See, so that's, it, like, that's where the shipping goes too far, is when people start fighting yeah. about it. Yeah, and people actually went so far to go to my girlfriend. My girlfriend's the one who created Emra, um, puppeteers, like, Darkseid, something, something. Uh, people went so far to like actually go to her and like, like message like, I don't like Emma, I like Sierra so much better. I'm like, no, that's not alright. You don't that's go not to okay. someone. Yeah, you yeah. don't go to someone and do that. People are crazy. People are insane, and especially the creepy pasta fandom, mainly because since almost like the majority of the fandom exists like. 12 year old kids. Oh, don't I know that? Speaking of which, which is one of the biggest problems in the community because who the fuck is gonna control all these 12 year olds? Yeah. I'm I don't not. think the problem. I don't think the problem with the community is so much, you know, like kids or Mary Sue's. I think the problem with the community is literally just people being assholes to one another. True, true. I think if we were all just nicer to each other, it'd be great. <laughs> yeah, like every fandom has its issues. Like, has it? It's toxic. Yeah. Yeah, every, like, it has parts, but at the same time, I don't know, like, it's something about the Kufasa fandom that makes it stand out so more. I think it's mainly because the entire fandom just, like, it's, every, every character is OCs. There's, like, no canon creepypastas, which is, like, a really important thing to remember. Because people start fighting about these things, like, oh yeah, now your character's official, like, she, it's an official pasta. I'm like, when does it become an official pasta? Because there's <laughs> no company involved. Yeah, I know, right? True. It's people really are like, strange. Oh, your pasta's canon when it gets on the wiki or creepypasta.com or it's narrated by Mr. Creepypasta. And I'm just over here like, what? Sure. <laughs> or the what? lovely me, yo. <laughs> kidding well, mean like you guys realize these are all ocs by definition yeah. true <laughs> even freaking jeff is an oc yeah yeah ben brown's an oc like even freaking slender man is an oc even though like they have a company connected to him as of now but it's so you have to remember that and it's so insane like seeing people fight over these kind of things yeah i'm actually like you know, I have that new age of creepy pasta project. I've actually like come to the point where I, where whenever I um want to add someone now, I like get to know them a little bit first. And whenever mm -hmm. someone's like, "I'm a canon creepy pasta creator," I'm just like, "You're not on the list anymore. <laughs> Goodbye." <laughs> That's not the type of attitude I'm trying to promote here. I've tried to promote people who are nice to others and see that this is an equal playing field, and we're all just sitting here being dorks. And yeah, that's like. I love it when people start fighting over who's the most nerdiest person. Uh. <laughs> it's so freaking hilarious. Like, you are a nerd. What? But are I'm the biggest nerd. <laughs> Fight me about it. 
<laughs> I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm sitting here imagining an epic rap battle between Rachel and the puppeteer over their nerdiness. <laughs> yeah. No, something else, like, I haven't, like, narrated a creepypasta in a while because I email people. But then they email me back saying, like, oh, you're not Mr. Creepypasta, so I don't want you to read it because you're not him. I'm like, I oh. I gave you permission to narrate mine a while back. Yeah. Then arguments happen about something. And I'm just, I kept it on pause for a bit. <laughs> oh, I just That's said once stupid. I updated it again. It's yeah, like That's something else happened, but I'm not gonna get into it on the podcast. But yeah, it's on my list. I have a giant list because I recently just got hired by a little company, and I'll be doing a uh, spoiler to everyone that that I'll be doing something called creepy text messages from mm-hmm. from a app where pretty much it's just I don't want to say creepy pasta in text messages for a and text message format but it's just really scary stuff going in text messages for uh format yeah which is really exciting i'm just trying to figure out how to set it all up with the power of yolo i shall but you're definitely on the list you're number four on the list that me trying to record it's one of the big projects i'm trying to do at the moment such projects wow such all the projects wow wow I love how, like, everyone makes a big deal out of MCP reading their story. I was just like, if it happens, it happens. I sent him one request, and, like, a couple months later it came out, and I didn't even know it had come out. Someone came to me and was like, hey, he read your story, and I just sat there like, my world is ending. I was really certain that this was not going to And I didn't put two and two together, because I listened to it, but I didn't put two and two together as your story. <laughs> until the, until it until like, like wait <laughs> until it was the it was the podcast you told me I was like wait a second I'm like wait I listened to this twice because I liked it I didn't know you it was I just think like if anyone comes up to you and says like I really want to narrate your pasta you should just say yes wherever yeah. it comes from. It like, doesn't matter because, like, people... if they have zero followers or anything. It's like, it just <laughs> means that they really like love you. what you've done. And that's what's important. Exactly. It's and like, and touching that you. means a lot. Like, come on. <laughs> and then some people want me to read crappy pastas, but I'm afraid to go touch uh, that subject. Uh, I'm afraid to touch that with the okay, tip. So I'm stick. actually going to do a little promo here concerning crappy pasta. Uh, my girlfriend, she started doing a, a, like a web series called Laviana Reads, which is basically her cr- crappy pasta persona reading out crappy pastas, and it's really, really funny <laughs> because she's been really scared to like handle the theme of crappy pasta because you know it, there's always a person behind the story, like you don't want to really kill anyone who's been working really hard or something. Even though the quality can be questionable, there's still that. But she does like a way of reading it out and then like making small comments here and there. And it's it's really worth it. Like a look if you want to like just find crappy pastas. My whole thing is I've never really gotten like the whole point about like just ginormous rants against people when they say that they want to help them. Like if you want to help them, don't rant. About them. Yeah, I just want to touch you because like, oh, I saw good stories I can like joke around with, but I don't want the author to feel bad or anything. So that's why I didn't want to trust that. Even though a lot of people messaged me saying I should do it, but I'm like, nah, I'm not. I don't want to touch that. I don't want to make people feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. I've had I've had a few not so nice comments about my story, but you know, it's criticism. It happens. Yeah. I just like, all right, that's your opinion. You're entitled to it gonna move on with my life and keep creating yeah and it's like it's always up to you if you want to ignore it or not you're you're not in, like you don't have to listen to them that's the thing yeah it comes but like, uh, you can you can like respect them and listen but you don't have to take it in and like actually do something out of it but the people who like comment these things like oh i don't like this need to not tag Uh-oh. people <laughs> like the creator in it like if you're gonna say something not nice just be courteous and not tag them <laughs> yeah absolutely once you have tagged them in your not niceness, they have the right to respond. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That, that's really important because that's also like one of the 
biggest like I think like deals right now is that people go overboard with like critiquing everything they see. Like they can barely enjoy anything these days. They like yeah. have to critique everything they see, which is it's it's really sad when you think about like can you not appreciate anything at all? The creativity you see online. See, I'm part of the review community, and um, I do go around on DeviantArt, and I'll see like characters that interest me, so I like learn more about them. And if I see one or two things, I'll ask the creator if they're okay with some feedback to think about. Yeah, but that's what you always should do if you're like looking to give someone critique. You yeah. should always ask them first. Don't just give it out to them. Yeah, I think there needs to. Be of an understanding on the on uh, the on online community that you know critiques and stuff are gonna happen, but yeah. that the creator gets final say. Mm, yeah, of course. Yeah, because like I've seen so many reviewers who are just like, "No, you should listen to me. I am the god," and I'm just like, "No, nah, <laughs> nah, no, you're not." Show me your PhD. <laughs> okay. Show me your PhD <laughs> in being a god. <laughs> True. No, I one of my pictures went a little bit viral on Tumblr, and it made me really awkward. And it was a really old picture. It was me. I bought a pirate outfit from Walmart for like ten bucks, so I can just wear it around for. Her. Cause at the haunt, we do social media takeover where we just we go downtown and we dress up in our costumes just to make people come to our haunt and stuff like that. So I wore that and I wore my yellow contacts and had my hair in a interesting fashion and stuff like that. And then apparently this person took a picture of me in a black and white filter and now everybody's like, I like this. Can I write about you or something like that? And I'm like, sure, I don't know what's happening to me. I don't know what they're writing about me about. And I haven't seen anything else about it, but my picture went viral. <laughs> wow. Yeah, like, that's also the thing. Like, it, is there bad publicity and good publicity? Like, I don't know what's, what's the best of it. All I heard was rumors saying I'm the pirate of downtown or something like that, and I'm killing everyone. <laughs> That was one thing I heard, and then there was another person saying I'm the storyteller, and I'm like, I don't even know what's happening. I just bought a $10 pirate outfit and wear a yellow contest, and now I'm just scaring people on the internet. <laughs> yeah. I'm great. I was like, I feel like that's how most things happen. Like, when I made Rachel, I never expected to, you know, like, make friends with you, Corn, or, like, talk to Kiki Huga or any of this. I was just get around trying to have a little bit of fun and yeah. it just it spiraled out of control like now whenever well, i go on google and i just search creepypasta i was i did that the other day and i was looking at the images because i just wanted to you know look at them because it'd been a while since i just googled it and i scrolled down and i saw a picture with rachel in it and i was just like i'm not emotionally prepared for this what is happening <laughs> yeah rachel is a really popular one i hear people like talk about it all the time and then he was like interview you too and i was like I've, do you guys not know i already interview the creator i'm Rachel? just like <laughs> i'm gonna sit over here in my core here with my friends because that's the whole reason i joined this and drink your friends. wine i wasn't having wine i was having a wine cooler thank you <laughs> a wine cooler and your tiny cheeses and all fancy with your pinky hanging out i don't know <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> I was actually having a wine cooler mixed with voltage. <laughs> oh yeah, it was yeah. voltage. <laughs> just, uh, I just, I don't understand. I, like, I wrote a story. That's it. I just wanted to have some fun. I feel like that's like how you and Kiki feel to you. Like, what's happening? <laughs> I can, I can absolutely relate to that. This is like. People, when people, like, actually go that length to, like, really, like, just admire you for what you do, like, that's one of the best feelings, and it's, when you get that, like, recognition, it's amazing, even though, like, you didn't plan it, which is also, like, one of my pet peeves when people create OCs, their main goal, or, like, any story at all, they're, like, their main goal is to get famous. That's a shitty goal. It's a really shitty goal and it's really boring. Like, I just want to get famous. I, like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I just, I don't just want people to know who I am. It's like, why? <laughs> Is I joined, really that important? I joined the fandom with um, my friend Jen. 
um, just because it was Halloween and we were like, hey, let's read some creepy pastas. They're supposed to be creepy. And then it was just me and her. And I joined DeviantArt because I started writing a Laughing Jack Times reader for her. And then I just started making all these awesome friends. So I was like, I'm going to try and make one because Mr. Angry Dog really inspired me with Jane. And it just all spirals out of control after there. <laughs> But it's, it's a nice experience. Yeah, it's nice. It's, well, I it's like very nice. I like all the friends that I've made most of all, though. I like you guys. Aww. In the end, I could care less about, like, views and stuff, so long as I have really awesome friends to talk to. I thought you say you care less about our friendship after I said that. I thought, oh, geez, gonna, I, I thought you was gonna say that. I was like, oh god, what just happened? Oh yes, Taylor. I don't care about you. I've only known you for years, years. and put up with your shit. <laughs> I'm done with your <laughs> shit. <laughs> I only I only edited that entire story where you wrote he pour on the rat and the rat was cured. For no oh yes, he pour on the rat and the rat was cured. <laughs> but my grammar went really great because I got published in my English class. <laughs> I did great. Wow, we. I did great your grammar. <laughs> Probably not now. I still suck. I can't even text the person. It's some cool abrasive. I don't think you need like a lesson. I need to like dress up as a teacher and just come to your house like, hello, yes, I am your grammar teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna yell at you, hey, you pointed out the rat and the rat was cured. <laughs> be like, no. <laughs> and just run around the house and just say that. <laughs> just run down your street screaming. Oh. Secretly fangirling over y'all artwork so <laughs> Which I'm Aww. just gonna slow do your thing. No, like I seen your artwork before. I just didn't put two and two together <laughs> for a bit. Wait, what? Or is dork? I am That's a the first thing you'll learn. You said me or You're what? a dork. Yeah, cuz okay, like I look at your artwork, it's like I've seen this before. I like all this. It's like, oh my gosh, you're the one. <laughs> it's one of those moments. <laughs> That's every day of Taylor's life. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like, I saw the the Toby song, and I saw the Toby artwork. Yeah. And I was like, that was you! <laughs> I just passed by that artwork. That, it, it happens a lot to my stuff that people share it around, and then this source doesn't get added, which, like, it, it both, like, it's... It's fun to see your art being shared so much, but at the same time, like, it's not me gaining the views or the likes or the yeah. rebox, which, yeah. like, I lose that way. <laughs> and I, I kind of hate it. But at the yeah. same time, like, you do you. Like, as long as you're not earning any money of it or doing, like, anything that would, like, be really bad, just, like, go for it. <laughs> like, whenever I post, like, online, like, because I'm part of that review blog, but you know. And um, I always link to the place where I got the picture and always yeah. the creator, because I'm like, I'm not here to gain views for me. I'm here to possibly help somebody out a little bit if they'd like the help. Which is like how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, another pet peeve of mine with like reviewers and review blogs is um, when they refuse to take things down. I'm like, yeah, uh, no. <laughs> I'm like, no, they have a right to not want these things up and not posted yeah. without their permission. So, that's, like, get off your high horse. <laughs> that's just really me. Yeah. That's... <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be a part of the blog that I'm part of if, um, if that wasn't one of our thingies, is that if the creator messages us, we'll take down the post. Yeah. I just... just uh... <laughs> Speaking of, like... Before him, we was talking about fandom and fa some fandoms going out of hand. Something that got out of hand that I noticed from a lot of blogs on YouTube was FNAF by Nights of Freddy's. Oh and I God. saw so many people vlogging about we're done, we're not doing no more of this and that and stuff like that. And What? I'm totally lost here. What What's going on? <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of um singers singers and let's players of doing that that does fnaf games or make fnaf songs yeah and now they're now they're done like oh fnaf is over and now they want to do their own thing and then when they do their own thing people complain people yeah. complain yell at them yeah. or they lose their money like there's 
a channel i'm not gonna say it is but they have like they just recently got two million subscribers and when they started the FNAF thing they only had fifty thousand, and now they have two million and then once that happened their reviews went so down like they used to get like one million views now they only get a, a hundred to a thousand views now on the regular oh. stuff and they lost so much money in their income and it's just really bad and then they made a vlog about it and complaining and then they took down the vlog because everybody hated them or they said something wrong or it was just they just said they just feel like they just said that they obligated to put the word financial freddy's in front of all their titles so they could just get reviews or something yeah. and then it's not even the game they'd be like financial freddy's until dawn let's play <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that, and I was like, and I noticed that on a lot of people with less plays, and that's pretty yeah. bad. Honestly, I never got the Five Nights at Freddy's house. I just like the music. That was part of the problem. <laughs> no, but I, I, I enjoyed FNAF like, at a really early stage. I liked I, the first game. I liked the first game, I loved the second one, and then like when the third came out, I was like, okay, I, I didn't ask for more. This is, but this is fine. I can handle this. I really like, like the last we're one. We're going to keep milking this horse. <laughs> I really, yeah. really, really like the last one. The one with the bedroom and everything. Find out four. I really like yeah. that one. That I've only really, really seen two and one. <laughs> yeah, like, and then FNAF World came. Well, you cannot play FNAF World now. If anyone has it on Steam, uh, Scott pulled FNAF World off of Steam, and he said he was gonna redo it. And then once oh. he's finished, and he's gonna put it back on Steam, it's gonna be free to play for everyone. Hey, that's so, cool. So, so Scott, shout out to Scott. He just got a new baby girl, I think. Aww, I, mean, yeah. I think it's a girl. Shout out to him. He's pretty nice dude. He's a really sweetheart. He seems like he'd be nice. I mean, the nicest people make the most fucked up shit. Yeah, I know, right? Especially <laughs> the the anyone you guys saw the little mangle tweez teaser that went viral about the NAF world. Oh. It was mangled. Uh, Scott posted it on both of his websites. A mangled um, was hung with a paddle ball. Okay. And that yeah. that rose up some crazy stuff. There's like, is Scott okay? Is Scott dying? And then he took it off within an hour of it, and that was really creepy because I saw it too, and I was really it was it was is really disturbing. Wow. <laughs> like it's pretty much is he dead? I was like, well, somebody posted it. <laughs> But he took it off and he apologized that he did like that. He said he didn't put two and two together and I was like, all right, that's cool. But I think a really nice fandom that's right now is Undertale. I'm not a huge Undertale fan. No the, the, I said so I'm not a fan. I've never seen it. Good, because I'm I'm supposed to buy that game eventually and I'm avoiding the spoilers like the plague. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut then. <laughs> Like, I can't say anything about it, <laughs> like, because I don't know. All I know is something about fonts, like Comic Sans and Papyrus, that's it, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's that's all you need to know, basically. I like the that's Bone the Travel song. Yeah, Bone Travel, yeah. Yeah, I love that. I, I was listening to that, and I listened to Nate Wants to Battle's songs that just recently came out. Self-promotion right yeah. now, watch Victoria's Let's Play of it. I put it on the screen, like, right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if you forget to edit that in. I probably, I probably purposely just not edited it in. <laughs> Where did it go? Hey, it's over here. It's over here. That's no, over here. It's not gonna Oh no, 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 I ate it. Oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I have no idea what Unity Tales is about. I have nothing. I have no doubt. About it. All I know, they're the sweetest people in the whole world. <laughs> To talk to. Just enter with, just enter the game with like a clear mind. Really, just try to avoid spoilers and people talking about it because they're they're gonna overhype it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a very good game, but people overhype everything. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, I'm guilty of this. <laughs> <laughs> Shame on you. Some overhype. I get stuff. so excited about stupid shit. <laughs> Right. The dog of wisdom. I must have showed everyone that when I first saw it. Oh my god, I did too. I am ashamed of myself. I... Shame of what? A uh, dog of wisdom. Dog of wisdom. Oh. Oh. I listened to that ten-hour music remix. Me too. Living Tombstone. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, speaking I of that, I literally quoted that to my mom the other day. Did you guys hear about the whole fine bros thing? Oh yeah. my god. My oh god. my. Don't get me started. <laughs> I saw the living like, two stones reacting. To oh I played the video like right. Wait, no, they took you down. Sorry. It was a mess. Jesus Christ, dude. And there's still losing followers. I was watching a stream of them losing I, followers I, the other I, day. There was so <laughs> many streams. Of, I feel like the only reason of losing followers so people couldn't like unfollow just to see the number turn and be like <laughs> and be like I'm part of that. You saw that number change? It was me. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> I'm like, it's pretty bad. I'm like, I feel like when I saw all this happen, I was like, we have more things to worry about. Like, people are dying in third, like, people are dying in these third world countries, and we're worried about them uh, supposedly licensing the word react. Uh, supposedly, I don't know. Yeah, that's, but that's, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> that That's the problem. Like, they would make so many YouTubers' jobs super hard to yeah. just continue on. Uh, what they did is that they actually uh, try to trademark more words than React. <laughs> I know it was like kids react yeah. to technology, the kids versus technology or the yeah. food. Cause I did saw that on, like I agree with the whole Ellen thing that yeah. they had the kids react thing. I really agree with that cause she admitted it, I believe on Twitter or something that she did take it from the Fine Bros, give them no credit or anything. And I feel like in that sense, she should have gave credit to them. Yeah, but at the same time, like, it's, it's such a concept. It's, like, it's so wide. And they've been doing it since the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. The Fine Bros, they had, like, no right whatsoever to, like, put a trademark on like, this kind of videos. Yeah. It's insane. Like, they do other videos than React. I, they do yeah. skits and stuff, too, that no one probably doesn't watch, except yeah, me. I, except me and the whole world. <laughs> Yeah, there's one channel that, that like on YouTube. It's uh, AV Byte, and they do musicals about really stupid shit. Oh my god, good. Mm -hmm. I like uh, Random Encounters. They do awesome musicals. I just saw their. Um, have you guys heard of the game called Friend Bo? No. Oh, it's a really nice, uh, creepy click and point game with the. Yeah, you have to enter that game with a clear mind too, and you just gotta be prepared for anything. Just go along with it, even if it does. It really doesn't make sense. That's like, okay, it makes sense. <laughs> I'm cosplaying as friend Bo, if you guys want to look it up, or I just post a picture like right there. I want to cosplay her because it's just really um, simple. On a very not connected note, I think another problem with the creepy pasta fandom is hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Because like, um, you're gonna hate me for bringing this up because um, the whole thing with like the crack ships with Kiki, like I know a lot of people who do crack ships. And none of them get hate, but only Kiki does. I don't know why that thing like became so out of hand I, to begin with. Um, people, I think when like when someone starts blaming someone for something, like everyone hops onto the yeah bandwagon because it's so much for the witch hunt, and that's really scary. It's it's really not cool because Kiki's a really really nice person. Yeah, and she's just like, as anyone else, just try, trying to have fun. Yeah, and I don't understand like how people can like just jump on something and then don't even know like what happened. They would just sit and listen to someone else talking about it, which is like they could just be lying for all I know. They could just like be spitting out lies and. I was gonna be like, oh yeah, that's probably true because they actually made a video about it. <laughs> totally true, guys. Totally true. Stupid. I just, uh, I hate it even more when it's like people that you've seen do the exact same thing that suddenly like go up to them like, oh, you're so horrible. How could you do that? <laughs> it's like you're doing the exact same thing. Yeah. Ugh. Why don't you take a good long look in the mirror <laughs> before you start <laughs> getting on people? <laughs> Do you hate fun? Do you I'm, hate yourself? I found the weirdest story on YouTube about a YouTuber. Uh -huh. And I'm, I had talked to Mickey Victoria about this to get their opinion. Because I, I fully don't understand the story at all or what any... Well, I, I feel like everyone in the story is at fault. So, there's a YouTuber and he has a... I, I don't want to say the YouTuber's name. But there's a YouTuber and he has a, he has a wife. 
and they have We're a kid. We're gonna call them Steve. We have Steve and Steve. <laughs> we have Steve and Stevette. <laughs> They're married. They have a kid. They have a kid. Mm -hmm. Stevette came out being bi. Uh huh. And Stevette asked Steve if she can have a girlfriend. Steve said yes, that she can have a girlfriend in their marriage. Okay. They had a they had a threesome. Mm -hmm. They talked about this in the vlog too. <laughs> Just, it was really in depth. And then. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it was really oh, awkward. Oh, okay. And then Steve Ed, um refused to touch Steve after like anything. They're the whole marriage after conceiving the kid. They don't do anything intimate. That was the first time they ever did intimate with each other because they had another person. Steve Ed had to go out of town. So the your girlfriend and Steve had to be alone in a house together. They okay. did nothing. They didn't do any sexual content, and all they did, apparently, they did is cuddle on the couch. Okay. And that's it. And then Steve Beth found, uh, Steve Beth found out that Steve cuddled with her because Steve told her that they cuddled, and that was it. Steve Beth got really mad because he's like, "You're not supposed to cuddle my girlfriend. You betrayed this marriage." So she took half of the hounds and the kid, oh, wow. and wanted to divorce him and make sure that he would never see his kid again because he cuddled okay. with her girlfriend. Okay, so she can be polygamous, but he can't? Right! <laughs> That's what confused me. And then he made the vlog saying he's not the victim, she's the victim. He said, I'm a horrible husband, I'm a horrible father, because of all this, I shouldn't have cuddled, cuddles cheating, cuddles wrong, and he's like... What? Yeah, and then everybody in the whole internet felt sorry for the girl and not him, and I was like, I feel sorry for him. I feel yeah. like everybody's just asking. Let's take a minute to look at this with a brain. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, this whole story like blew my mind when I heard this. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I don't get it. So I told Vicky and Victoria about this. I, like, I don't, this is the weirdest story ever I heard. Yeah. And that's the point to be anyone that listens to the podcast. They probably know what I'm talking about, most likely, but I'm still not naming any YouTubers. We ain't like that. I ain't like that, bro. I'm not like gossiping or anything. <laughs> well, I am, but it just really confuses me. I just like to get other people's opinion on that <laughs> subject. <laughs> we are gossiping. We're talking about the thing and the place with the people. With Steve and Steve Ed and the baby and the girlfriend. Who we didn't give a name to because girlfriend. It's just girlfriend. Yeah. Girlfriend, yeah. Supposedly, <laughs> supposedly they worked it out and they're getting marriage counseling at the moment. And they broke and the both of them broke it off with the girlfriend. Well that's good. And they slowly get him back together and let him assume his son, daughter, I don't, I forgot what it is, the baby. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> the baby. We'll call them right. Baybet. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> Step bad. Step bad. <laughs> oh. yeah. yeah, but that was like the weirdest like thing I ever saw on the internet. And it was on the news and stuff like that. Like, I think the whole world is just confused about it. Well, everyone is confused. I and I'm just like, we put this together, right? <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'm okay with polygamy. Like, I would be in a polygamous relationship because, because reasons. But um, like, it just that makes no sense to me. <laughs> you could at least like agree to like the terms of like how it was gonna work. But no. <laughs> well, like the whole thing of a polygamous polygamous relationship is like that. You're all partners. <laughs> I would get yeah. jealous too fast. Well, that just means that you're not right for polygamy. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no, it's not gonna work for me. I'll probably murder everyone before. Yeah. <laughs> In the end. Meow, cat fight. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, one thing that I love about theater is just, like, everybody is so casual. Because, like, you never know when you're gonna have to kiss someone. <laughs> So everyone's just so casual about it. No, <laughs> so you I... have me and Mickey, like, and, and you and me and Mickey just in theater class making sexual innuendos with each other. <laughs> or the legit thing of me performing on stage with a ro with just a robe on, dancing with Mickey, saying, please love me again. <laughs> All sexual light. And that's the very first performance I'd done on stage in front of a school. And everybody got a new image of me. I was like, yep, that's how I roll. <laughs> that's how Taylor rolls. 
And everybody said that's the best performance they've seen in me. I was like, it's the only performance she's seen in me. <laughs> I sure hope it's the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. I... <laughs> so, so Amber, Mickey, and I were in the green room at the, at the high school. Yeah. That we went to, that I won't name, that I almost did. <laughs> <laughs> Come stalk us, like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't go there anymore, though. They can still, it'd be close enough. I know, right? I live, like, less than that away from there now um and we were talking to amber and we're like hey amber how do you twerk oh my god <laughs> and she was teaching us how to twerk so we're in the green room twerking and what are you hitting huh what are you hitting i'm not hitting anything oh i just hear like dump 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 i was like sorry i don't know if that's me or someone else <laughs> i don't know um, if that's either I was in the uh, we were in the green room twerking, and Reese comes in, who was playing uh, the prince in Cinderella at the time, and he said, "Well, if I'd known people were twerking, I would have come by earlier." And we collapsed to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "You was twerking. I could be a part of this." <laughs> this is before I became like a stage manager and all that jazz. Yeah, that was that was funny though. That really, really, really embarrassing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know why I told that story, but I did. Yeah, I don't know. That was pretty. I don't know, like, it was pretty entertaining. <laughs> well, we're coming down to the last minutes of the podcast, so we should start playing this game. Boo boo boo! Oh gosh! Oh, god. Yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> we're gonna do the Urban Dictionary challenge, thing in my jigger. Oh god. Challenge? Oh god. Uh, <laughs> my game face. Show me your <laughs> girl phrase! <laughs> so, I just hear oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I will give you guys a word and you guys gotta tell me what you think the definition is and I'll tell you who's close. Who okay. goes first? <laughs> Whoever wants to go first. I think porn should go first because I've been in a podcast before. Wait, who, 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 which one of us is the youngest? Well, I'm not no. doing it. <laughs> like, I'm not doing it. I'm the judge. I'm younger than you, Corn. Yeah, that's the start. <laughs> I am the youngerest. The youngerest. Okay, let's go for it. All right. The first word is ancestors. Ancestors? Yes. It's like ancestors for your hands. Is that your guess? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then Corn, what's your guess? Um, I think it's, you know, Hans from Frozen, his ancestors, but it becomes Hancestor. <laughs> that was really bad. I found that so entertaining, to be honest. <laughs> That's my final answer. <laughs> so everybody says, Hancestor, to all the ancestors that never to be born due to male masturbation. Oh, oh. Uh, that that was a hard one. <laughs> For most entertaining, kind of right I'm giving <laughs> I'm giving five points to corn because that was really <laughs> nice corn. <laughs> that was really nice. <laughs> corn, you get to go first this time. Okay. The word is icicle fingers. <laughs> the hands of a snowman. <laughs> Orion? Isn't that like when you're touching yourself and you're like, ah, my hands are cold, I've got icicle fingers. <laughs> or like touching someone else. <laughs> the survey says is when your fingers are so cold, texting is almost impossible. Oh, oh god. I was taking this in a very dirty direction. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Five points to Orion. Directions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Can I find the next word? I lost it. Oh my god. Right. Crap trap. <laughs> Orion, you're first to zero. <laughs> um, crap trap. That sounds like something having to do with poop. Like, <laughs> you're getting close. <laughs> like if. You were like, like, 
the pranks where they put saran wrap or like if you were in the bedroom and someone's like, hey, I like to take poops on people. <laughs> <laughs> final answer. That's my final answer. Corn. <laughs> I think a craft trap is that old fucking prank where people put like dog shit in the bag and then set it on fire. Outside someone's door. That's that's a horrible prank, by the way. That is a terrible oh. prank. <laughs> but survey says it's pers- purposely stinking up the toilet before your roommate or significant other needs to use it. Oh, um, that's mean. <laughs> and then the last one is master bed. <laughs> is it my turn? Yeah, corn. <laughs> is you? Is- isn't a master bed like a huge fucking bed? That is true, but yeah, <laughs> I'm on I Urban Dictionary. If... I wonder... <laughs> I okay, that's, that... if... that's my final answer. Sure. All right. <laughs> I wonder if a master bed is like where people are like it's kind of like a bukake or everyone like just jacks off onto the bed and then someone has to lay on the bed and that's like yes, a bed of masturbation. <laughs> is everything dirty? <laughs> Yes, everything is dirty. In my head, it is. <laughs> no, in Urban Dictionary, everything is dirty. But a master bed is when you masturbate so hard, you just take the longest nap. Oh, <laughs> God. That's that so bad. <laughs> Wouldn't that be like a master nap, then? Yeah, master nap. <laughs> well, I don't create Urban Dictionary. I, don't know. <laughs> I just read it. Since you guys are in a so-called tie in my head, I'll give y'all a bonus round. Woo! Woo! Now I'm trying to find my little oh, word. Why does there have to be a winner? <laughs> I don't know. Just take the time and be happy with it. I love no. something new today. <laughs> this is, I feel like you guys would enjoy this word. Bitch plosion. Bitch plosion? Bitch plosion. <laughs> Isn't that like where someone gets like really, really mad like they're a bitch and they like, they fucking go off. They implode. Yeah, it is. An explosion. Yeah. It says an explosion of bitchiness when someone or something pushes you so far you just bitch plode. Actually, yeah, I- <laughs> I'm gonna say both of you guys win. We're all winners. Yay! Yeah, we're all winners here. <laughs> well, you guys actually, win. Actually Self-promote yourself. One, to be honest. <laughs> Would you guys win? You guys, guys get to self promote yourself right now. Um, oh gosh, she's sorry, Orion. Um, hi, my name's Orion. And hi, Orion. Hi, Orion. And I'm addicted to cocaine. No. <laughs> Bye, Orion. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I write shit, and sometimes I draw shit. But not very well. <laughs> Are you doing any commissions at the moment, or prices and stuff you want me to put uh, up? My commissions aren't open. All right. It's not busy. Hashtag commissions not open. <laughs> but check out the DA, yo. It's pretty dope. All right, Corey. Corn's just over. <laughs> oh, um, hi. Um, I'm Corn. Hi, Corn. Uh, hi, Corn. I have an addiction. To reading really shitty smut pics. Uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> especially those pertaining to pub. Especially that, yeah. Um, you can check out my stuff either at DeviantArt or Tumblr, which is my name is Reading Heartworks. Um, I do creepy pasta, I do horror, I do comics, and I do what the fuck I want, which is pretty. <laughs> I just picture you just doing the middle fingers like fuck you guys. <laughs> That's my aesthetic. She does her girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Any commissions open or closed? Um, my commission for the current moment is actually closed because I have so much things to do with schoolwork and everything else. Um, but you should definitely keep your eyes open because they might just open all of a sudden when I'm in need of some cash. <laughs> Can I just say that? Corn has like the most amazing art I've ever seen. Oh, stop it. Again, <laughs> no. I again I fangirled in front of Orion and Mickey about this. Oh my god. 
to be honest. You fangirled. Imagine how I felt that one day that I woke up and um, was tagged in a picture of Rachel. That yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh. <laughs> and then I like died. The Orion message B say it's like, did you see the art? I was like, yes, I saw the art. <laughs> we all saw the artwork. I was dying, and like I had like seven seven different messages from people on Skype like, hey, look at this thing, my uh, cord dear for you. I was like, I, I should send you the actual picture. So you should send me your address and stuff. Um, okay, well, not right here. No. Like, say, like, right now, include a social security number and your credit card information to yeah. the process. Yeah, credit card! I have a snake. Stress. Make one and then send me the <laughs> I still Maybe. can't thank you enough though, because I know you're like really stressed out. And... Yeah, no, yeah no, I can't no, thank you enough. I to still come don't here. think I deserve that gift as much. No, as you you I don't did. think I deserve you to be on the podcast right now. I'm so grateful. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just so grateful. We, for the we just like fangirling over you right now. <laughs> We're oh like, God. every girl, I love you too. <laughs> Aaron got noticed me, some pie. Earth. I like Earth. Uh, Earth. Uh, guys, he's such nerd. I'm waiting for someone in the comments when this comes out to be like, oh my god, they're Swedish like Pootie Pie. Pie. Oh, that, that's the day I'm gonna stop going to Tumblr and even start. I'm gonna become a pilgrim. Oh my god, it's like female Pootie Pie. Oh my god, female Pootie Pie. We're that's just like making honestly, fun of your accent, and I'm so sorry. No, that, that's right. Like, I, I, I know my accent is pretty weird. I know <laughs> our accent is probably pretty You're weird. You're a nerd. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're over our limit It's like, hey everybody, guys, let's do a bro fist. No. <laughs> <We're> barrels. <laughs> barrels. 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 <laughs> we just didn't fit like every single YouTube in this whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Dibs on being female cry. <laughs> no, Hello, I'm leaving. I don't want to be part of this. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to today's Let's Play. <laughs> no, okay, I'm gonna play Amisha. <laughs> oh my. Last time on Cry Plays. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I, I left. Cry is the best. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for all the shit he's going to, through right now on YouTube. I have no yeah. idea what's going on, to be honest. Um, all his videos got privatized, and because I something about copyright strike or something happened, so now he has to he contacted YouTube and now they slowly unprivating his videos, and they told him he can't do a let's play for a bit, a while because of that. That's shitty. YouTube's like copyright system is fucked right now. Yeah, it it's especially fun. like I saw that thing that happened to um, uh, Delu Cat. Yeah. Oh my god, what happened there? Like, I, ugh. I was so tired of YouTube. I just, it's shit. It's even worse than Deviant Art at this point. That's bad. That is bad. That's pretty bad. I feel like I hope they get their stuff together very soon. Hopefully. Yeah. But yeah. The world might revolt if we can't have any more cry. Yeah, like, well, he's on Twitch. If anyone wants to see Cry, he's he's on Twitch every day. He cries awesome. Yeah, hashtag cries life. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a fan of his for, like, a really long time, and I still don't understand the thing. Like, oh, show your face. It's like, that's, no. Well, no, we, we he showed like. his body. It was close enough. What? He, he's skinny and muscular. <laughs> when did he show his body and why? <laughs> on Twitter. He was, he got a new computer, so he took a picture of the computer, and you could just see him in, right there taking the picture. Oh my god! But he covered his face, like his arm was like <sighs> the phone was covering his face, and his arm was covering his face, and he just took a picture, and he just had the thumbs up. <laughs> and everybody's like, "You're looking good." And so he's just this skinny white boy with muscles. So, do you remember when Critical showed his face? Everyone was like, "Oh my god! Oh no, he's hot!" <laughs> I remember when Markiplier showed his face. I feel like that's how people felt when MCP unmasked at that convention. Yeah. Oh no, he's hot. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> everybody on our channel is saying girling over Cody. He's him and Shadow's the only two people that have not shown their face on the channel and they've been girling over Cody because he read a story on the channel. Uh, it was a, a gay fanfic 
written by Gabby and b 2 via fandom. And Where's my fangirl? I'm an attracted male. <laughs> I fangirl you every day. Oh, dang. Sexy you. beast. <laughs> Is that my new nickname? Sexy beast. <laughs> Wiggles eyebrows. <laughs> I'm just imagining your eyebrows like doing the wave. <laughs> I'll twerk with you any day in a green room. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> are, you, are you okay? <laughs> I can't even be odd right now. <laughs> Cora's like done. God. <laughs> All right, you okay? <laughs> no. I feel. So I feel. Funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Yeah, that's the next pick, that's pick up line, though. I'm gonna make a bounce card just for you. This is I would like to you. To and fro. Literally, she is running down my face. Oh my god. <laughs> myself. <laughs> <laughs> so much stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, when you guys over commissions, I'll probably be your first customer, so I love buying <laughs> art now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I, did the, um, I did the channel. Uh, yeah, yeah. I still have it. It's just not on the channel. No, oh, the channel logo is not on the channel. <laughs> no. Somebody drew us like a a mascot now for it, so now that's everywhere. And drew our heads, which was pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, so you know who's in the video now, like Game Grump style. They drew uh -huh. that, and it was pretty cool, and I liked it. <laughs> and I can't say pretty cool normal because I think about that video. I don't know, say it's pretty cool. And it's, now we're never Sonic the Hedgehog, I think the Mark Repellers video where he's like, Gotta go fast! Go go fast! Get go fast! Get go fast! Sammy! Gotta go fast! <laughs> 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 oh, I hope I, I hope we entertained you guys in this podcast. I know, I was thoroughly entertained. <laughs> I, I think we learned a lot of stuff today, you guys. I think Taylor can be female Markiplier. <laughs> Hello, guy. <laughs> Why is my voice just like that? Or what does that mean? Now I'm really concerned. <laughs> the world may never know. Uh, just like how many likes it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. Like, it takes 516. Take that, science. I tried to like come up with an equation for that using like the pH of the tongue and all that. Gosh dang it, <laughs> nerd! <laughs> you should Just use that, it. you should use that in a nerd rap battle. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work by the way. <laughs> you don't need to tell them that part. <laughs> <laughs> I tried so hard and got so far and in the end it didn't even matter. I tried so hard! <laughs> oh god, now I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone say bye 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 bye. <laughs> Say it in Swedish. That'd be cool. Hey, Dolly Oh, that's pretty that cool. That is cool.